Hey everybody, it's Annette with Mongo here. Um, yeah, with K-pop oracles, bring you another K-pop tarot reading. Today we're gonna be doing a reading on Sehun and Chan Yo. Yes, according to the poll, the, like a lot of you wanted me to do like kind of a a reading on their friendship. You know, they're like a dynamic duo of XO, right, Mongo? Okay, so let's get started. So, what's their friendship like? What is their friendship like? What is their friendship like? What is Sehun and Chanyo's friendship like? Uh, we got the Six of Swords. Okay, so what's their friendship like? Okay, we have okay we have the three of swords in reversed what else what is Sehun and Chanyeol's friendship like okay we had the ten of swords okay here's what I'm getting oh wow these are scary cards right the ten of swords and the three of swords in reverse and also the six of swords okay a lot of swords okay here's what I'm getting I think when they first met i felt like maybe there's some drama going on maybe they, there were some like maybe fights some arguments um maybe there's some threats of like um, ending a friendship or a connection and uh, but i feel like um yeah i feel like maybe that was like years ago that they hadn't like issues with one another but i feel like maybe they they kind of moved on they healed from it they kind of made amends um, I feel like currently their connection seems like a very calm one. It seems like they they really work well together. It just seems like there's you know not a whole lot of drama. I feel like they um, yeah, so it's like a drama free partnership basically. So, but I feel like maybe at first there might have been some like arguments going on or just like fights. So yeah. Anyway, so what does Sehun and Tanya? Think of Chanyo. Okay, we have looks like the seven of earth or seven of pentacles. What does Sehun think of Chanyo? What does Sehun think of Chanyo? Okay, we have the three of fire, three of wands. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What does Sigmund think of Chanyo? I'm not very good at pronouncing names, so yeah, please don't kill me if I mispronounced any names. What does Sigmund think of Chanyo? Okay, we have the five of air, or five of swords. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. Okay, yes, again, there might have been tension with them. There might have been some conflicts with the Five of Air or Five of Swords here. But um, I feel like maybe they just, yeah, just had different values or just, yeah, just didn't get along or felt that one one person was like, um, lacked morals or integrity. Um, but I feel like, I mean, right now, it just seems like things are peaceful right now with the Three of Swords in reverse and also the Six of Swords here. Um, he's thinking that Chanyo right now is someone who's like a go-getter basically just someone who's Hustling the seven of earth or seven pentacles is a hard-working individual. This is someone who also just likes uh, You know works really hard because you know to be able to like afford luxury or just material things <laughs> Which is I mean not a bad thing, but he's also just thinking that some he Chanyo is someone who just thinks a lot about the future too. It's just someone who um, maybe worries a lot about it like just just concerned that he won't have like enough resources or you know wealth in the future so that's why he's like he just works so hard for it um, uh, but, uh, but at the same time he's like very he's thinking that Chanyo is very patient too so someone who really takes the time to um, you know uh, 
you know, work. He, he really spends a lot of time on his projects, basically. And with the Three of Fire or Three of Wands here, again, it's all about kind of planning for the future, planning for the long term. Um, also, just learning from, you know, past mistakes and also just like really taking pride in your success and also your hard work. And um, it's just like really looking forward to, you know, the future or what's next. What else? What does Sehun think of Chanya? What does Sehun think of Chanya? Okay, we have Mav, Mave. I think that's how you pronounce it, this goddess. It says cycles and rhythms, rhythms, Mave. What else? Okay, what to say here in Tikachanyo? We have Asters. Okay, what else? Pull one more card. Let's see who can pick a Okay, we have impatience. Okay. Okay, so maybe like in the beginning, maybe when they first met, like he, like he thought maybe. Chanyo was like a little reckless maybe or impatient kind of like very like fiery <laughs> but I think over time he has like matured um he's he's someone who's very calm and just like has a lot of patience also there's just like a certain like decadence or elegance about Chanyo like he's he has he's a very he seems like a very charming person just someone who likes likes luxury and someone who's just like looks expensive basically and with Mav here or Maeve it says cycles and rhythms like this is someone who he's thinking that Chanyo is like a health nut basically someone who really takes good care of himself his health his mind body and soul you know like he knows when to stop you know like he doesn't try to overwork himself okay so what does Chanyo think of safe good safe good safe good what does Chanyo think of safe good What does Chanyo think of Sehun? Okay, we have the two of water, two of cups. Okay. <laughs> what does Chanyo think of Sehun? Okay. Okay, we have the dreamer. have looks like the three of water three of cups okay it's so very positive thoughts about Sehun here let's start with the two of water two of cups this is a great work partnership they're like platonic soulmates okay um yeah there might have been some bad blood between them but i think they kind of just like forgave one another and just kind of forget basically um i feel like they he's thinking that Sehun is just someone who's like kind of like someone who will give you gifts basically someone who just likes full like exchange gifts or give gifts and also just someone who not the type that would give up on you even if there's like issues like won't give up on you or just like leave you out in the, the dark or something and with the dreamer here it's kind of like the fool's card in tarot so he's thinking that Sehun is like a risk taker you know someone who's just like will grab life by its reins or just will go out and take a leap of faith or something like that it's not afraid to take risks very open-minded very like also fun very fun kind of silly energy too i feel uh, the three of water three of cups is a card of like socializing kind of party and just fun so sehun has a very i'm thinking that chanyo's like yeah so chanyo's probably thinking that sehun has a very like kind of fun like kind of like a party animal 
side to him. Like he just knows how to have a great time. He's just fun to hang out with. He's very extroverted. Um, just likes to socialize. He's basically a social butterfly. What else? What does Chanyeol think of Sehun? What does Chanyeol think of Sehun? We have Vesta. What does Chanyeol think of Sehun? We have Camilla, 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 Camilla. What else? Are you trying to kiss me? Ah, you're trying to kiss me. <laughs> what does Chanyeol think of Sehun? We have true offering. Okay, maybe he's thinking that this is a kind of like a faded connection, like they're meant to come to each other, like come together in this lifetime and learn from each other. I mean, Camellia here is a flower that represents kind of like fate, destiny. Um, with the Vesta here, it says it's home. So this goddess represents home. Um, maybe like, okay, maybe like, like maybe he had a like kind of a rough home life or something, but, um, Things are, I feel like things are improving for him. Or um, he's someone who's developing kind of healthy habits. Maybe he just like, kind of was like a reckless character or just someone who, yeah, just had a like a, maybe was a bad boy um, or did some not so great things, but I feel like maybe things with him are improving. Maybe his, maybe he had a crappy home life. So like, I feel like maybe his home situation is improving. And with true offering here, again, it seems like Sehun is like a very giving individual, it's someone who's just will give back, will love someone unconditionally, basically. You're like biting me. Okay, what's gonna happen to their friendship in the future? Or what's gonna happen to their friendship in the upcoming months? What's gonna happen to their friendship in the upcoming months? We have ten of wands. Hey. Mm -hmm. We have the hermit. Okay, we have King of Swords. Okay, I feel like they might take some time apart from each other. I mean, because the King of Swords is someone who's just kind of like detached, just kind of really fiercely independent. So it could mean that they probably won't spend as much time together. And the Hermit is kind of a card that represents a dude that just kind of goes off on his own thing. Um, does his own thing or just like kind of goes within um so it could mean that they won't maybe they won't see each other as often and with the ten of wands here i feel like they're like maybe they're both like really stressed out they just have a lot of responsibilities that they need to take care of so it seems like um yeah it's just like practical matters are getting in the way of the connection or might get in the way of the connection and might cause them to kind of not you know Spend a, spend a whole lot of time or socialize with one another. What else? What's gonna happen to their connection in the upcoming month? We have the swan. Okay. What's gonna happen to the connection in the upcoming months? Mungo, you're like biting my neck. Okay, go on for it. Go. Go roam around. What's gonna happen to the connection in the coming months? Okay, we have our 
Okay, so I feel like they might have to go on their like own kind of paths for a little while. Um, it's not, not saying that they're like their friendship's gonna end or anything. It's just gonna go through some changes with the swan here. This one is the card of resistance, kind of transformation, and the owl is a wise creature. So maybe just like um, like both parties might have like have to go do their own thing for a little bit, kind of just find themselves or just. Um, yeah, just like kind of figured, figure what, you know, like try to figure out what they want to do in the future, I feel. So, it's not like they hate each other or anything. It's just, yeah. <laughs> just a lot in their minds, I feel. Anyway, so that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at KpopLocals1. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.